Hi, I'm Daria here with Miss Pierce, and we're here to discuss the 316 Club. Hi, Miss Pierce. How are you? Hi, Daria. It's good to be here. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. Thank you for coming. So, about the 316 Club, what mm -hmm. is it, and whose idea was it? Uh, the 316 is from a verse from John, um, for God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him will, shall have eternal life. And Miss um, Walker Holmes and I, the other advisor, thought it might be cool to do a like, catchy uh, title uh, for our club because we changed our name. Two years ago it used to be called the Christian Youth Club. So we thought maybe we'd change it up and see if we can get some new membership. Um, the club is about honoring and celebrating and glorifying the Lord. In, in the best way that high schoolers want to do. So if that's praying, if that's doing servant heart events, if that's um, sharing their faith through devotions, whatever way that they want to do it. Yeah, I like the idea of bringing religion into the school because not many schools do that. So what time is it and like what date? Uh, we meet on Thursdays at 2.20 in room 325. Okay, and um, so what's the purpose of the club? The purpose is for uh, to give students um, a safe place to express their faith, to share concerns, um, to receive prayer for family members, for themselves, for whomever they need prayer for. Um, and it really depends on what the students want to do. We're looking for strong leadership. So and when we um, see that kind of move forward, we can ask them what they want to do. If they want to spend every Thursday doing devotions, we'll do that. If they want to spend um, every other Thursday uh, having a meeting and not every Thursday, you know, whatever they want to do. So it's really up to whoever joins. So you guys don't decide what happens during those meetings, they basically decide? Yeah, it's the students, the students craft it and decide what they want. And a few years ago we had some really strong leaders and we did some great, uh, we did um, Thanksgiving food drives. Uh, we did Samaritan's Purse Operation Christmas Child. We um, packed uh, Christmas boxes with um, hygiene thing items and socks and toothbrushes and stuff and sent them to kids in third world countries um, who don't have those items. So we had some great events that we did and so, but we had, it was a small group, but they were really committed kids and they came and they were fully invested. So kind of looking for hopefully someone like that to decide what they want to do because they may want to do different things. So I see that you do different things but what mainly happens in the club? Uh, we definitely pray um, and we pray for whoever the kids want to pray for. A lot of them have relatives that need prayer. Um, we'd like to have some little element of a devotion even if it's you know for a short period of time where we we take a Bible verse and we examine it and explore it and ha as how it relates to our lives and how we can apply it or find the examples of how it um, we either match that devotional topic or theme or maybe how we failed, you know, so we can become stronger in our walk. So what, can, what morals and values can a student expect to get from this club? Uh, well, affirmation that they're loved um, by the body of Christ and we're part of that. Um, they can definitely receive a prayer, which is a spiritual, um, like foundational principle of Christianity. Um, and just to help them along their walk, wherever they are, if they're on the precipice, if they're, if they're in the middle of it, if they're towards a more of a mature walk with the Lord, but helping them. So the morals and values really are based on God's word. So, and you know, how it is in the, in the word really. So I understand that you have some events coming up, for instance, play, praying at the poll. Can you tell me more about that? What exactly is that? Sure. It's a national prayer at the poll, um, and it's for all high school students all across the nation will be participating. Um, so there will be, you know, tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands of students participating, which would be great, and all praying for everything from their classes to uh, their family members to leadership, you know, whatever they want to pray for. And it's just a great spiritual um, time to come together for that 15 minutes to half an hour uh, where everyone's praying for similar things, and which is really beneficial. So when is it? It's tomorrow uh, from 7 to 7.15 in front of the flagpole at the right outside here in, at the high school. And we're hoping to hold more of these prayer at the poll events. So it won't um, just be a one-time thing, it'll be yeah, more. Yeah, because it's really visual and people get off the buses and they come join us uh, who may not necessarily come to a club meeting. Um, but it, 
it certainly is great to have them and we'd love to see them come and then they become some more prayer to pull then. That's nice. So can anyone come? Yeah, I mean, um, typically people rel with religions that pray, like Muslims, um, Jewish people, and Christians, they have that prayer uh, as part of a component of their faith. So they are absolutely welcome, and anyone else is welcome to come too. They just might feel a little weird because if they've never prayed before, it can be awkward, you know, for the first time. But they're certainly welcome. Yeah, well hopefully they start to get more comfortable yeah. the, the longer they're there. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you for your time. I'm Daria Allen here with Miss Pierce, and we discuss the 316 Club. Hopefully, we'll see you there.